Meet M.A. Dennis, an advocate with Care for the Homeless for the past five years, who was in shelter for six years before we met him. I think about success a lot because people keep telling me I'm a success story. And what comes first, the success or the failure? Do you really appreciate housing unless you've been homeless? These are the things I think about when I think about success. Success feels different after failure. And there is no greater fail than losing your dignity and having your humanity marginalized. Overcoming that level of defeat, which is the agony of homelessness, requires a Herculean effort. It is no small feat to fight for your life. Make no mistake about it. This is what it means to live in a homeless shelter. I know a number of men in the double digits who once lived in New York City's lowest societal rung, the epicenter of homelessness known as Ward's Island. They didn't succeed in living to see themselves rise to the rank of formerly homeless. Those last two words, formerly homeless, so simple, yet so sweet. When I say them, it sounds victorious. They mean success in spite of unbelievable hardship, success that can be keenly sensed in the simplest things. Success is opening a mailbox and seeing a utility bill bearing my name. Success is putting out regular trash on Tuesday and recyclables on Friday. Success is boiling water on my stove in a glass kettle that I paid $1 for at a thrift shop. Success is buying 20 pints of Hagen dazs ice cream, which I do not recommend. But sometimes you have to do it because you have $20 worth of coupons and these Hagen dazs are on sale for $2 each. Success is having a freezer to store all of that ice cream. Success is coming home. Success is coming home and instead of seeing yet again a body bag being tossed inside the medical examiner's van outside the shelter, I see instead a refrigerated truck delivering a shipment to the Guatemalan corner store. That's success. Success is having your own keys and you can go whenever you please. No sign-in sheet, no losing your bed. Success in its most basic form to me is when I go to weekly advocacy meetings and I get to introduce myself as, hi, I'm Dennis, formerly homeless. A donation to CFH can help us create more success stories like his. Please help.